How to create weird gradients in Clip Studio Paint. Something similar to this. What it uses is the gradient tool along with layers, blending modes and the wave shape filter. Go to the layer menu and new layer and raster layer. I want a fresh document so go to the edit menu and fill. And that fills it with the current colour. Go to the layers panel and you will see you've got two layers. You've got the background layer as well as the layer that you've just created. Your background layer will be filled with something different. Go to the tools panel where you can find all the tools of Clip Studio Paint and select the gradient. Go to the sub tool panel and find all the gradients that come with Clip Studio Paint. There's a quite a range of different gradient designs. Expand the panel and then select the gradient sunset. Right click the gradient and then select the revert command. That puts all the settings back to the factory default. Go to the window menu and sub tool detail. That brings up the sub tool detail panel which shows you all the settings for that gradient. Go to the gradient category and go to the shape and select one of the three shapes available. I'm going for a circle. Go to the edge process and then select reverse. Probably the nicest one of the gradients as it smoothly creates a repeating design. Go to the ink category and select the blending mode difference. There are many other blending modes possible. Go to the anti-aliasing and set anti-aliasing to on. Move the subtool detail panel out of the way or close it. Not sure why that panel doesn't have an expand or minimize feature. Apply the gradient multiple times. You can always undo if you're unhappy with the design. Apply it in different areas, apply it with different sizes of gradient. As the blending mode is different, you will see all kinds of amazing color designs appearing when you apply the gradient. At any point, if you find you've got a gradient you really, really like, you can always go to the edit menu and register it and save it as a material. The gradient looks pretty good now, but you can extend it even further by using filters. So just go to the filter menu and transform and wave shape. Go to the shape of wave and set it to sign. Set the value for the number of waves. I'm going to go for nine. Change the wavelength, set the minimum and maximum. You can see the preview, so you can just change the values until you're happy with your design. Click the regeneration button in the bottom right. It will randomize the settings. You might like to set the minimum and maximum wide apart. You can also just set them very close to each other. Up to you. Now go to the amplitude setting. You can do the same as with the wavelength. Just go down to the regeneration and keep clicking that and try in different settings until you're happy with the design. I'm going to ignore the ratio settings. Leave them approximately at the default values. Go to the entry process out of domain and set to fill edge. Continue to click regeneration and then click OK. You don't have to apply the filter just once, you can just apply it over and over again. So just go to filter menu and transform and wave shape. You can change the settings for the filter, but you don't have to. You can just go to the regeneration button, click that over and over again. Once you're happy, click OK. You can always then go back into the filter and apply it again and again and again. You can also save the work via the edit menu and register material and image. You can also save it via the file menu or export to another format. You can then manipulate it further in Affinity Photo, etc. As it is a layer, you can go to the layer property panel and change the color, etc. To change a color or tone, etc., go to the effect entry. Set the layer color to on if you wish. Border color has no effect, so go for tone. Go to the number of screen frequency field and set the value to low so you can see the dots. Change the angle as well as the position. You can also change the dot setting. The drop down includes many options such as noise, lines, carrot, etc. Again, you can save your work. You can go to the edit menu and register material and image. You can also go to the paper texture option and click that to make it into a texture for Clip Studio Paint. I'm going to undo that now because I don't want any colour set. As it's a layer, 
you can always duplicate the layer. So go to the layer menu and duplicate the layer. Two layers, both identical. So go to the layers panel and then go to the top entry and select the blending mode and set to difference. The document goes totally black. So go to the edit menu and transform and scale. Resize the layer, but perhaps not by too much. So once you've done that, click OK. So instead of being a black document, now you've got a really super colorful design. It's a combination of two gradients. Go to the tools panel and then select the move layer and you can move the layer around. Be careful about the seam at the edge. You can also flip the design. So go to the edit menu and transform and flip horizontal or vertical. Then click OK. You can always change your mind with layers. You can always go to the layers panel and then go to the blending modes and change to lighten, screen, darken, etc. I'm going to go with lighten. You can always add additional layers. You can always duplicate the current layer or perhaps create a new layer and then apply gradients to that and combine that with the existing design. To flatten the work, go to the layer menu and flatten image. That doesn't need to be the end. What you can do, you can go to the filter menu and apply other filter effects or filter and transform and wave shape. You can keep the settings the same. You can change the settings. You can also use the regeneration button to keep randomizing the wave design. Once you're happy, click OK. Again, you can save your work via the edit menu and register material and image. You can also use file and export to save the work. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. I'm always adding new tutorials about Clip Studio Paint, so please subscribe. Also, please add some comments as well as a dislike or like. Thank you much.